All right, today I'd like to talk to you about how to paint some of the bone and how to do some of the shading on the bone. To begin with, with our paper here, I have already started some of my painting. And so far with my painting, I have white, I have yellow, and a touch of brown. And I thought it looked a little too um, light, so I went ahead and I had it add just a tiny touch of black. And what you should know is those darker colors are going to overpower your white very, very quickly. So here's some helpful hints for how to mix your colors. First of all, let me go ahead and get some more white. If you find that your color has gotten too dark on you, which is really, really common, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have, this is some newer white, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the color that I had over to my white. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to add it to my white. And what that's going to do is make sure that you slowly add your color so that it's not going to <clears throat> overpower it too quickly. So that's an easy, helpful hint for how to get your color back and not to overdo it. All right, so let's go ahead with our shading for today. So you can see everything that I've done so far is pretty much the exact same color. So you can take and do a color wash with that same color that you have. Then what you're needing to do is some shading. And the parts that we're wanting to shade anywhere where it's kind of um, behind, so like back in this area, back in here, we're wanting to do some shading. Uh, along some of the edging, we're wanting to do some shading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, yes, I'm going to add just a tiny bit of black and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add black so you can see over in this one over here. Now what I have is that black if I put it around my project it's going to be way too dark so I want to make sure that you know do not outline your project in black. I'm going to repeat that and that's for any painting that you're doing do not outline your project in black. Um, so that's flowers, that's bones, that's whatever you're doing. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I have a, let's do a little tester over here. So what I have is definitely a darker shade than what I have been working with, and that's gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna go in here, and I am gonna go on the outside edge of this, and I'm gonna make it slightly darker. I need a smaller paintbrush. I'm gonna switch out my paintbrush there. So you do wanna work with this one. It's pretty dry, and um, you want a nice dry piece of paper so it's not going to smear everywhere. Now what I'm going to do after I have my a little bit of my lines, I'm going to take that paintbrush that was a little bit bigger. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fade out the edge. So I'm going to take this and I'm just taking some water and fading it so it, it's that back edge just looks like a little smudged, not nearly as dark of an outline. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna work that just a little bit more. There we go, that looks much better. So it's not a super strong outline. You're wanting instead to make it <coughs> blended. Let's go ahead a little bit more. There we go. All right, so you're going to do that on quite a bit of your outlining here. Um, once again, it's not in black. I added a tiny touch of black to it. Definitely not a solid black. A solid black, once again, is gonna make your project look very, very cartoonish, and we don't want cartoon pictures. So what I have here is a little bit of lining. Now let's go ahead, that's way too strong for what I want. So once again, we're gonna fade that out by taking some water, going over the back edge, kind of blending some of that out. If you're finding you're having some difficulty there, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more. And start to work in so it doesn't look like you outlined it because we want an appearance of shading so all right all right so give that a try on your practice and then you can get started on your real project today